Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video on the AFV um, cold air intake for a 5.7 liter Hemi a Jeep Commander. Uh, I believe the same part number fits a Jeep Cherokee. Now uh, I'm thinking it's a, a four uh, cold, cold stage two or stage two or something like that. I'm not exactly sure about the model number, so this is mine right now at the top of my head. But um, I will post that in the the detailed information in the uh, in the info section of this video. So I'm going to do uh, just a quick comparison of what the engine sounds like before and what it sounds like afterwards. I'm not going to get into the details of the install, but maybe uh, give you guys a summary once it's all installed. But basically, this installation involves removing the top of the air box and the uh, air intake resonator. So it eliminates this, provides a, a, a clean uh, line, a direct line from uh, the air box to straight to the throttle body. It does use the um, original uh, lower portion of the air box so it does the air still comes in through the front and exit enters through the bottom of the air filter and then uh, the the new um, cold air intake system has a port here that that allows it to breathe for more air uh, in addition to the air that comes in from the front from the OEM uh, port or intake all right so let's uh, fire up and so you guys could hear what she sounds like before and then we'll do a comparison of what it sounds like after fellow so I finally got done with the installation it took about roughly 30 to 40 minutes it wasn't too bad um, had a pop off the top the uh, like I mentioned the um, the intake resonator came out and the top half of the other box came out as well um, I'm gonna fire her up see what it sounds like now and uh, let's go ahead and take a listen then I'll uh, zoom in on some of the parts
All right, now, on the inside, didn't sound too much different. I don't know how it sounded out here, but I guess we'll find out later in the video. Um, but let's take a look at uh, some of these things. Okay, so there's a new um, uh, reducer here to go from the intake down to the throttle body. That's the new intake. The uh, sensor has been in place in the new tube. Um, and this is what the new filter looks like. So there's a, a, a cover on it, a protective cover with with Allen screws. So that's good. So not anybody can pop it open, I guess. Um, but one thing I did notice is the top half of this box doesn't sit well in the uh, in the bottom half of my intake box, and that's because this is in the way. So later on, I'm gonna see if I can maybe move this a little bit down that way to allow this to kind of sit. There's like a couple of small clips down behind it where it's supposed to kind of go in there. And then the front clip is supposed to hold it down. So it's the only thing that's really holding it is this part, but it's it's, it's held on well by a couple of screws in the back, so it's not going anywhere. So I also had to replace the, uh, the the vacuum tube here, and that's pretty much about it. It looks a lot cleaner here up front. Taking it out for a drive later today, so we'll we'll see if, uh, what performance feels like. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave some comments down below. Thanks.